It's good to speak with you today, Haitham. And uh, this is going to be an interesting Thank you. Topic. Look yeah. forward to hearing your views on supply chain decision making and the Internet of Things. Can you first provide a yes. background of yourself? Yes, thank you. It's very it's a pleasure to talk with you, Dustin. Um, I'm Haitham Omar. Uh, I'm currently a lecturer of logistics and supply chain management uh, in the American University in the Emirates, uh, located in Dubai. Um, I am interested in, of course, supply chain because I teach it, but now I'm exploring also the field of uh, data science and artificial intelligence, and I'm trying to bring both worlds together. And uh, I have also a good uh, background in procurement because I was working uh, in a procurement department before in a petrochemical industry. So you can say I have a, a good background in logistics and uh, supply chain overall. Uh, not as senior as you expect, but uh, yeah, we all learn and we grow up learning every day. And I hope I can be of benefit for you for this interview today. Yes, sure. So supply chain decision making uh, is the making of decisions, whether it's replenishment decisions or assembly decisions or transportation decisions in the flow of your supply chain. Uh, and these decisions, we face them every day. So the traditional way of doing these kind of things was by planning, forecasting, Excel sheets, spreadsheets, having brainstorming meetings with the, uh, with the managers, let's say. But now with the uh, evolution of Internet of Things and sensors being everywhere around us, especially in the parcels, the packages, also uh, in the warehouses. So this has given us more uh, data, let's say big data, the, the word big data. This has given us more big data that we can get insights from. These insights now can help in making better decisions with regards to supply chain decisions. The uh, decision I was talking about, the assembly and replenishment, the manufacturing, the production, warehouse space, all of those are supply chain decisions. So I think Internet of Things has a good, uh, has a big and more bigger impact to come uh, with uh, uh, relevant to the uh, better decision making in our supply chain. Yes, yes, yes. So how it's done effectively. Now, ERP systems are, I think, everywhere in all the companies. And we have many types of ERP systems. We have the in-house systems, we have the customized ones, and we have the uh, best player system that you get a full ERP system to your company. And also we have the cloud ERP systems. And I think this is growing exponentially now. All the companies are putting the data in the cloud. Uh, all the data is shared across all the uh, enterprise. So this has uh, given more opportunity to gain insights from the data. And not only in a single location, but across the company as a whole. So by having insights from this data and analyzing it, this will enable more effective decision making in the supply chain. And this is part of what I'm trying to do in my research now and what I'm working with companies, trying to uh, enable the use of machine learning and uh, data intelligence and Internet of Things in their decisions in their supply chain. Well, my final recommendation is, is uh, enabling uh, the learning of uh, big data and machine learning for the supply chain uh, employees in the companies. Because the normal way of doing things is collaborating with the employees and having a collaborative decision making. This is excellent. This is the best to do. I agree. But now we have an add value. We have an extra opportunity to add artificial intelligence into the game. So my recommendation is to enable the employees that are working in supply chain to have more awareness and technical uh, expertise in artificial intelligence and uh, big data. I think that this on the long run will have 
more effective approach to our uh, supply chain performance. Thank you so much, Dustin. It was a